Hi, this is George Whittem here for Source Elements. I'm here to tell you today about the iLock, the iLock system and the iLock USB key that's sometimes used with it. I want you to feel more comfortable with the iLock system and understand how it works with Source Elements. Now here's an actual physical USB iLock key. Users of Source Connect Pro will have to use an actual USB iLock dongle to use the software. The good news, is with Source Connect Standard, you do not actually have to use an iLock to use their software. It licenses the software using your computer itself. But what's cool about iLock is it allows the use of your software on different computers. You can transfer the license back and forth from a computer to the iLock system into another computer or travel along with different computers by bringing the iLock along on a USB key. Your license is protected, it's secure, and it protects the company that makes the software from theft, protecting their intellectual property and allowing them to continue developing new software and better products. First, let's go ahead and sign up for a free iLock account. We go to iLock.com, I-L-O-K.com. Once there, go ahead and click in Create Free Account and fill out the form. After you submit your form, you'll have to now go to your email address and confirm the creation of your account. Here's the email. This is what it looks like, iLock.com account activation in the subject. Just click on the link provided. And this will take you back to the iLock website where you can now log in for the first time using the information you use to create your free account. If you've done everything correctly, you'll get the message account activation. Your account with the user ID SE training is mine has been activated and click continue. Now that we have our iLock account set up, let's go ahead and get our free trial of Source Connect right now. Go to source-elements.com and click on sign up in 60 seconds. Follow the instructions on the screen to create your account. I like to make my username the same as my iLock username. It just makes it easy to remember and keep track. On the next screen, do you have an iLock account? Yes, you do, because you just created one. Type in your iLock account username. Then click Check My iLock Account. The system will reach out and connect to the iLock system and verify that your account does exist. I'll go ahead and authorize my iLock. OK, now we can create our Source Elements account to get our free trial. Let's go ahead and fill in the forms. I'll put in my contact email address for my Source Elements account. The more information you put in here, the more the other users will be able to see about you online. Just put in your city and maybe your zip code. You may not want to put out your address. Under basic privacy settings, you can choose how you can be found on the system. You can go to public, users only, or my contacts. I prefer users only. Um, that way some people can find me if they're already Source Elements users. But if you want the highest level of privacy, choose My Contacts, which means only people you've already added as a contact will be able to find you in the Source Element system. Then check the I have read the terms and conditions, after reading them of course, and click Create Your Account. Once you've done that, you'll get an email sent to you. You'll click on that, and that will verify that your email address is real, and you can continue the process of setting it up. Here's the email you're going to get from Source Elements the activate your account information. Follow the instructions on this page to get you started. Gives you a lot of very helpful information. Then to activate your new account, click on the link that says activate your new account. Now you can click sign into your dashboard. So now we can go ahead and download our software. So click downloads at the top. Select the software, Source Connect. Choose your product, Source Connect Standard. Choose your version. We're doing the new version 3.9 or the most current version as of the production of this video. And then I'll click download. Once the download's finished, you'll have a DMG file. Double click to open and you'll see this window. Then click or double click Source Connect Standard Installer Package and follow the prompts. You'll have to type in your computer's system password to make sure you know what that is. Then 
Then we'll go ahead and close. We can close this window. Now we can launch Source Connect from the Applications folder. First time we launch Source Connect, we have to get Source Connect, the software itself, to know where the license is. So we'll click Activate. And here's where we're going to put in our iLock user ID and password. We should see the license for the trial or whatever product we purchased here. And under Allowed Locations, it shows an iLock icon and a PC or Mac icon, which means you can license this software to an iLock key or to the computer itself. Make sure it's selected here and click Next. Since I only have a computer to license to, I don't have my iLock key plugged in, then I only see my Mac as an available source or destination, I should say. Activation is successful. Click Continue, and then the Source Connect software will launch. If you'd like to have more control over your licenses with the iLock, you might want to use the iLock License Manager, which you can get at iLock.com. Click on iLock License Manager and download the version for your system. Once you have it installed, you'll have your iLock Manager window, and you'll just click Sign In. Sign in with the account you're using for iLock. You'll see any and all licenses that you own or that's on your iLock demos or trials as well. In this case, the only license available is the Source Connect Standard 3.9 trial. It also shows me where I can activate my license to. As I can see under local, because there's no iLock plugged in, I have two licenses that are connected to this particular Mac. One of them is Source Connect Standard, and one of them is a license for Pro Tools. If I wanted to move one of these licenses to an iLock, I could plug in an iLock to my USB port. It's going to ask me if I'd like to register this iLock to my account. I click Yes. And if I'd like to move a license from my Mac Mini and take it with me on the road to use on my laptop, I could just choose the license I want to relocate to the iLock and drag it to the iLock key. It's going to say, OK, you're deactivating it from one place and moving it to another. I click OK, let it finish. And now the license is on the iLock, and it is no longer on this Mac. I can continue using Source Connect on the Mac as long as this iLock is plugged in. But if I want to take it someplace else when I'm working on the road, just bring the iLock with me. That's the process for using an iLock, getting it set up, and getting it to work with Source Connect. We'll have another video available walking you through the process of actually using Source Connect software and optimizing it to work as well as possible in your particular studio. I hope you found this helpful. This has been George Whittem for Source Elements. Stay tuned for more helpful videos on how to use the different products provided by Source Elements. Thanks a lot.